So for today, we're going to be looking at the Warlocks. Finally, you guys are looking at the individual pieces for the Unyielding Favor. And I'm going to be real with you guys. Uh, this video also goes a little hard, not as hard as the Titan, because dog, I was the equivalent of like laughing at your own jokes, man. Like I was to be fair, though, the Titan sets go so hard. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll have it up right now. I also have the Hunter one just in case you want to look at the Hunter one and also be aware that I have already already reviewed the Unyielding Favor. Uh, we look at how it how it shaders, how it looks, my personal thoughts on it. If you guys want to see that video, it's going to be right now. So yeah, I would really appreciate you guys watching those videos. I would also appreciate a like, comment, subscribe. Really does help the channel a lot. Uh, the channel has been doing really well, and it's all thanks to you guys. And just keep doing what you're doing, and let's just get into it. So to start off, we're gonna be looking at the helmet. This one, I I'm gonna be real with you guys. I I don't know where this one came from, but it looks fucking fire. This one, <laughs> this one's also really good. So obviously, unyielding favorhood. That's the one we're using. But for the arms, we're gonna be using the iron swagger ornament for the getaway artist i love this ornament it looks super super cool especially if you want to go for like a bougie look because it does give that off that vibe for the arms arc light robes was an easy choice considering like i wanted something a little bit more bougie as well and i do think the arc light robe especially with this shader looks bougie for the for the boots this is where it gets interesting the psionic speaker boots specifically because it turns the boots black for the cryptic insignia and the, the fetish bond, just because I didn't want anything too crazy for a bond, no glow or anything. I just wanted like something nice, but like also something like engraved. So this one, I don't have much to talk about this one because I think it speaks for itself. The cryptic insignia shader uh, specifically because a lot of this is just cloth and for cloth specifically, it'll turn everything black. Uh, if there is one gripe about this set that I could have is the fact that I wish the unyielding favor took the main color or actually no, I wish it took the off color for the for the plate in the front because it takes the off color on the back of the plate, which I'm not a big fan of. So that would be like my only gripe because it would be really cool if the unyielding favor hood had like the blue color on the main plate and then the white on the side and the back. But other than that, yeah, I think this one's super cool. Uh, definitely viable considering getaway artist is still pretty good, especially in PVP. So I definitely would use this set. As for the next set, I, I ended up going for a combination of the Unyielding Favor Gloves and the Unyielding Favor Bond because both of them look really good together. And if I took out either or, it'd look weird. So that's why I combined both of them. For the helmet, we're using the Hood of the Great Hunt because I'm going for a, an Awoken look. So that's why I'm using the Marine and Constellation Robe. For the boots, we're using the Re Re Rayonent Tracery ornament for the secant filaments i do i i i love this ornament i think it looks super fucking cool and then for the bond again unyielding favor because i want to combine it with the arms for the shader i ended up going for first frost this is like one of my favorite shaders but if i want if i'm being quite honest you could probably switch this out to combine it with a color that goes well with the unyielding favor bond and unyielding gloves like fire thing that comes out of the arm and bond i think that would have been a better choice but i didn't want to fight it and also i kind of wanted a black fur so that's why I'm using this. If I'm being honest, though, I would probably just switch out some of the shaders around. So like the arms, the bond, no, the arms and the chest, no, the arms and the boots. I would probably switch those shaders out to a, a lot more like just to, for it to take black instead of uh, the color that it's taking, because that is first frost fault. But other than that, I think the set looks really cool. Let me know what you guys think. As for the unyielding favor robes, this one is the one I had the, a lot, a lot of fun with because I ended up going for the opulent scholar hood for this one. I just think it looks super cool with this for the arms. Thunderhead gloves is an easy choice for the boots. We're using the new exotic swarmer and I think it looks super cool with this set. I think it looks so amazing. And then for the bond elect of the empty bond is an easy choice as well, just because purple, like what else do I have to explain? So let me explain a few things. The thunderhead gloves was an easy choice because I wanted to have something, uh, that goes well with the with the chest piece and i think the thunderhead gloves go really well with it i don't know why i'm gonna I, there's no explanation i just think like visually it looks good together for the helmet i think it looks cool because there is a little bit of a collar in the back and i wanted something that had like a little bit more showing at the back so like when you see the back you see a lot of that hoses and stuff and i think that looks super cool that's why i'm using the opulent scholar hood and then the boots, I just, I think they look super cool and I was using them. So I was like, fuck, I'll use these. 
and I should have made the Swarmer video already. If not, I won't post it, but if I have, I'll have it up right now. And then elect of the empty bond because it's purple. There's no, there really is no thought process to that one. I was just like, it's purple. I'm using purple. Fuck it. Let's do that. Even though this is a, it should have been green if I'm being quite honest, because this is a strand exotic, but I wanted purple instead. Cause uh, fuck, fuck going with the, with the color scheme that people thought I was going to do. So, uh, I don't know this one. You know what? Now I remember thunderhead gloves. The reason I'm using thunderhead gloves is because it has straps on the side and the chest piece also has straps on the like forearm so not forearm the bicep so that's why i'm using that that's why so yeah let me know what you guys think and last but not least we have the boots the unyielding favor boots and this one is funny because this started to like avalanche to like one piece to another piece to another piece where it was first the phoenix renaissance well obviously first it was the unyielding favor boots but then it came to the arms of optimacy and then it went to the virtuous bond and then it went to the phoenix Rena renaissance and then the tusted legions came last because the thought process was the unyielding favors kind of have like this bougie vibe to them so i wanted something that has some bouginess to them which is why i went with Ar arms of optimacy first and then from there i was like well if i'm going for bougie i'm gonna go for virtuous bond because that's also like a really good bond for that but then all oh, the virtuous bond has like kind of like this plumage at the end so I decided to go for Phoenix Renaissance because that was the, la the first one that I thought of because I had just made a video for it. And then from there, I was like trying to find a good robe for it. And then Tusk Allegiance just kind of came to mind because of that cool collar. And that's really the that's, that's the reason why I came up with this, this uh, chest piece is because the collar looks really cool. And I'm really happy that I went with this chest piece because it showcases the boots so, so well. And then New Monarchy Regalia was it wasn't my first choice because what I really wanted was a shader that was really good for the boots uh specifically like I want a boot that has like a good color but also showcases like the ornamental side of the boot which is why new monarchy regalia was chosen so I definitely like this set it's definitely super fucking cool and I was not expecting to make another example set for the phoenix renaissance because if you guys don't know I already reviewed this exotic in the new ornament video i'll have it up right now and in that one i do like the example set as well it's just i don't i don't know why this one came out even better bro so warlocks let me know what you guys think i definitely think i definitely think the fourth one is super cool and the third one is super cool as well not saying the other two are not are bad or anything i do like them as well but i do think that third and fourth one are just so way, way better so warlocks let me know what you guys think i will have the thunderhead or, or the Thunderhead individual pieces video soon. I'm still working on the armors, but I wanted to get this one out first because this is the one that we reviewed first. I think maybe if not, it's fine because it doesn't matter what was first. I just want to have a video out. So let me know what you guys think. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.